To change between different end sizes, you'll need to swap out the upper chuck, first and second operation rollers, the base shaft assembly, and the can guide spacers. You also need to recalibrate the base force and roller positions. First, remove the top cover. To take the drive belt off, push an edge of it off the large pulley and spin the pulley by hand. The belt should slide off easily. Remove the large pulley's lock nut. Loosen the set screw located on the side of the hub of the large pulley. Make sure to hold on to the upper chuck or it can fall out as you loosen the set screw. Pull the upper chuck down and out of the bearings. To remove the roller assemblies, loosen the vertical adjusting locking screws. Remove the roller assembly retaining nuts. And pull the roller assemblies down and out of the housing. Remove the base shaft assembly by removing the upper quick release pin and pulling the shaft up and out of the housing. Replace that one with the new base. Remove the two button head screws retaining the can guide spacers and replace them with the new ones. Rub a small amount of grease onto the roller assembly axle and place the new rollers into the housing. Make sure the brass washers are in place. Loosely retighten the roller assembly retaining nut until you feel a slight drag when rotating it. Pay close attention to the orientation of the bearings when removing and replacing them. Place the new upper chuck into the bearings and housing. The chuck fits very precisely into the bearings but should slide in without a lot of force. Don't force the chuck into the bearings or it will get stuck. Reassemble the washers and spring washer and pulley Position the flat surface on the upper chuck in line with the hub set screw. And loosely tighten the hub set screw. Make sure the concave side of the spring washer faces down. Tighten the pulley lock nut just enough to completely flatten the spring washer. Then fully tighten the hub set screw. Replace the belt by first placing it over the small pulley, then pull it over the large pulley and rotate that pulley by hand. The last step is to replace the top cover and tighten up the screws. Once you got all those parts replaced, you need to run through a calibration and you should be good to go with your new can size. For more information, check out our other Model 7 tutorial videos.